System is running very slow. There is a huge lag in the machine. The performance of a computer is very bad. If that's so, today in this video, I will tell you one of the most powerful ways to speed up any computer. And that too, without installing any third-party application in the machine. That will be just the best part. So, please follow me all the steps with all the patience you have, and I'm sure your system will be up and running just like a brand new machine. So, let's get started. The very first thing which we will do is to open the Run window. So, either you can do a right-click here and go to Run, or you can simply press Window and R, and this Run window will appear. And here, type Clean, M-G-R. So, that's the very first step. I'll tell you five steps to clean the machine, and then restart, and then see the magic. So here, click on OK. So once you click on OK, a disk cleanup utility will come, and you just have to check mark all the things. If you have something in your recycle bin, copy it somewhere and delete. So currently, my system is very clean. This is why I'm only having 618 meg of data. But in your computer, you might have 10, 15, or maybe 20 gigabytes of junk sitting in your machine. The things which we are deleting here are all cache temporary files. Whenever we open any application, temporary files, cache gets created, which we do not actually create. So it's absolutely okay to delete all these. So once you select the check mark, click on OK, and then click on Delete Files. So now we are cleaning that junk from the machine. So that's the very first simple steps, and most of you guys know it. But there are some more steps which we will be following to make the computer absolutely fast. So we are done with this. Now again, we will press Window and R, or simply do a right click and run. And here we will type temp. Once you open temp, select any of the file and then press control A. Once you do that, we need to press shift and delete. Now, when we select shift and delete, after selecting all the folders, all the junk from the temp, we are pressing shift and key just to delete them permanently and then just say yes and it will be deleted. Some of the files will not be deleted and that is absolutely fine. Just check mark and skip. That's absolutely fine. Few of the files will not get deleted. That's pretty okay. Now, the third step is again pressing window and R. And this time in the temp, we will type temp percentage percentage temp percentage. This is another location of windows where all the registries get created. Now, all these registries are software related. Whenever you perform any task, these registries get created. So it's OK to delete all these. I will just press Control A and then click on Shift Delete. And in this manner, I am getting rid of all these 909. I just cleaned my system five days ago and still I have these. Because I am a heavy user of computer, I do a lot of stuff. So in your case, you might have more than this and the computer will actually thank you once you delete all these junks, unwanted files. Once this is done, we will move to the next step, and that is to open again the Run window and type in etcpl.cpl. Some of you guys also have faced slow browser issues. Any of your favorite browser like Edge, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Firefox, you might get some slow performance. So for that... Go to Connections and click on LAN Settings and check if there are any proxies there. If any proxy is there, just uncheck it and click on Automatically Detect Settings. That needs to be done. Once it is done, click on OK. Now type in etcpl.cpl and this time we will go to Advanced. And here we will restore to Advanced Settings and then click on Reset. Now here we need to check mark this Delete Personal Settings because some of the cookies may have got corrupted. And this will also reset the home page. You know, the browser favorites, the cookies, accelerators, 
temporary files will get deleted. So if you have some important bookmarks, you can simply export it or else I would recommend to just reset it. All right, so once it is done, we will again press the window and this time we will type prefetch and then hit OK. Once you click on OK, it will again ask for the permission. You just need to click on Continue. And here you will find many files there. So just select any of the files and press Control A and Shift Delete. So I have 244 items which I just deleted. Now again, when you turn on the machine, the startup time is very high. So how to fix it? It's because you must have many applications running at the startup, which is a big problem. I have seen many out of 10 customers, 10 people. I find nine people have so many unwanted applications at the startup, which they don't even use it. So to fix that, we will go to Start menu and just do a right click and then go to Task Manager. Once the Task Manager is opened, we will go to Startup. And guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and like the video. I need your support. Now, here in the startup, make sure all unwanted unknown applications except Microsoft or the application which you use very often. When I say often, very often, that means every time, whenever you open. Because whatever the startup applications we have, if I disable them, I still can open them. It's just it will not automatically open without my permission. So I use Photoshop. Creative Cloud, but I have disabled it. So when I turn on the machine, I manually open them. I just don't want those applications to open. So here, just click on it. Either you can do a right click and click on disable. Whatever the applications, unwanted applications you have. And make sure you do not disable any graphics or security or any third party application which you have installed, which requires to run the machine mostly Windows and other like HP, Dell services. Make sure you don't disable it. And once you disable all them, just close it and here in Processes tab as well. Check what our applications are running currently. Close that as well. Sometimes when you open too many applications, the CPU usage gets very high. So you can always come to the Task Manager. And from the Apps, you can simply click on that and end the task. How we can do that? like if I want to close Google Chrome. I'll just do a right click and I'll click on End Task. So in this manner, I'm releasing the space. So in this manner, the usage will be lesser than earlier. Okay, so once this is done, you just need to restart the machine. And if you have any kind of viruses, or if you think that you're getting any pop-ups in your machine, or any kind of adwares coming to your machine, Anything which is weird and you haven't seen that, then what I would recommend is to open the browser and install any cleaner. If I recommend to install Advanced System Care, or cleaner that is, a cleaner. But if you think, even if you have a small doubt that you have a virus in your machine, what you need to do is, I'll tell you two applications, which is Malware Bytes, just type Malware Bytes into Google, and the very first option, make sure you are opening the organic result, not the ad result, so I'll just click on Malware Bytes. So you just need to download. It's absolutely free. You don't have to pay anything for it. Just download it, scan, and by clicking on Continue, delete all the viruses, restart the machine, and then come here in the search bar and type Add or Remove Programs and click on it and uninstall malware bytes okay and if still the issues are there then you can open google chrome or any of your favorite browser and type super anti-spyware it's a world known program i mean both the programs are used by millions of users across the globe so be assured don't worry about it so once you type super anti-spyware you will see the first result I'm looking for the organic result, and again, it's absolutely free. From here, you can download the free trial, install it, scan it for viruses, then click on Continue to remove it, and then restart, and after that, uninstall. 
So in this manner, we have cleaned up the machine, we have cleaned up the browser, we have cleaned up the computer, viruses, whatever the junks we have, the adware, spywares, malwares, trojans, we have removed. And we have also cleared the startup. So we have actually done so many things, and it's super easy, right? So once you restart the machine, your system going to work definitely faster than earlier. Please hit the like button and subscribe this and please share this video if you can to your family members or friends. I need your support guys.